इंट्रोडक्शन हेलो फ्रेंड्स ये यू सी सम फ्रूट्स आर केप्ट ऑन द टेबल वी हैव फाइव मैंगोज थ्री एप्पल्स एंड टू पाइन एप्पल्स डिस्क्राइबिंग इन दिस मैनर इज कॉल्ड डेटा रिप्रेजेंटेशन suppose you want to know the runs your favorite cricketer scored in last world cup final how will you know that you have to look at the score book the score book has all these data data handling is all about keeping the information safe objectives at the end of this lesson you will be able to record data using tables represent data using bar graphs friends it is easier to find out things when they are kept properly well arranged things are easy to handle similarly organized data is easy to interpret unorganized data is called raw data the given data represents a raw data we can arrange this data properly by using a table tables help us to represent data in a well organized way now let's do an activity take two dice throw both the dice together and note How many times the sum of numbers on both dies is greater than nine? Also note number of times sum is less than nine. Do this activity for twenty times and mark in the table each time. So we see that marking help us to record data. These are called tally marks. Instead of counting each mark one by one, skip the count by fives. and add remaining marks to the count this makes counting quick given chart is known as the bar graph these graphs are another way of data representation a bar graph uses bar to represent data in the given graph subjects are listed at the bottom and number of students is given at the side of the bar graph In this graph, nine blocks tell us about the number of students who like maths. Similarly, there are seven blocks in EVS, five blocks in science, four blocks in English, and three blocks in Hindi. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. Unorganized data is called raw data. Organized data is easy to interpret. Data can be arranged using tables, tally marks and bar graphs.